Welcome to MTB List. My name is Sean Willett. In honor of Steve Peet's retirement from racing downhill World Cups, I've dedicated this list to the top five moments in Peet's career. Steve Peet is arguably the greatest downhill racer of all time. Peet started racing back in the early 1990s and has over 100 World Cup races under his belt. He has raced for multiple teams including GT, Orange, and Santa Cruz. Petey started racing mountain bikes in its infancy stages and has helped grow the sport into the huge, popular, and financially successful industry that it has now become. The first moment on my list goes to his first ever podium. Steve Peet came in second at the 1996 World Cup in Pantacosa, Spain. I have this on my list because Steve knew he was a good racer, but this showed him that he could be a great one. The confidence that it gave him helped progress his career and turn him into the elite rider that he knew he should be. Confidence is a huge part of racing, and I'm sure that this is an indication to Steve that he could not only race with the elite, but beat them. Fourth place is reserved for his first ever World Cup win. This comes in at number four not only because it was his first ever win, but it also happened on one of the toughest races of the year. It was in the fourth round of the 1998 World Cup, where in Snoqualmie, Washington, Petey put it all together and won the race. This was a physically demanding course which left little room for error. Most, if not all, riders considered that the toughest race of the year. Steve Peet was able to push all that to the side and ride with reckless abandon and win the race and get his first ever World Cup win. Coming in at number 3 was the second World Cup win, which happened in the first round of the 1999 World Cup in Léger, France. I feel this race deserved to be number 3, not so much as for what it did for Petey's career, but what it did for the downhill sport in general. This was considered the start to one of the most legendary battles in mountain bike history. Up until this point, no one could touch Nicolas Vulios on race day. He was by far the most experienced and distinguished rider in the sport. Some riders such as Sean Palmer and John Tomac came close, but it wasn't until PD that Nico finally had a legit contender. From this point forward, Nico and PD would be locked in the most exciting and closely fought battles in UCI Downhill World Cup history. Second place on my list goes to his first overall UCI Downhill Series Championship. Steve Pete won the 2002 UCI Overall Championship, which was the first of three overall championships in his career. This was by far one of Petey's most consistent and exciting seasons. The reason I have this as his second greatest moment is due to the fact that it was the last time he got to go up against his longtime rival, Nicholas Vulios. The race served as a symbolic passing of the torch from Nico to Steve as the greatest rider left in the sport. The competition between the two was the stuff of legends. They supplied us with some of the most competitive and exciting battles that the sport has ever seen and may ever see again. If you have followed Petey's career or downhill mountain biking in general, then it is no surprise what Steve Pete's number one moment is. It of course has to go to his first and only world championship win. Steve Pete seemed like he was cursed when it came to winning at the world championships. He had many chances to win, but he always seemed to come up short. This included an unprecedented four second place finishes. Most thought that it just wasn't in the cards for Steve Pete to win a world championship. He was well into his 30s and had many young superstars like Greg Minar, G. Atherton, and Sam Hill who were dominating the sport. However, Petey would not give up. It came down to 2009 in Canberra, Australia when Petey finally put it all together and won the World Championship. I think you could easily argue that this win wasn't just the biggest moment in Petey's career, but in the history of mountain biking. The resiliency to stay focused, especially at an age where most riders would have retired, just goes to show the true champion that Steve Pete was. I dare you to watch Steve Pete's won't back down and not get emotional watching him win in Canberra. He meant so much to mountain biking and the mountain bike community. It was the missing piece in one of the most memorable careers in mountain bike history. I just hope that one day we have another moving moment like that. No matter who you cheer for on race day, there was nothing more exciting than to see him get that win. It was truly a special moment in the history of mountain biking and in sports general. Thank you, Steve, for everything you have done for this sport. We will miss you on race days. Cheers, mate. Thank you for watching MTB List Top 5 Steve Pete Moments. If you have any suggestions for future lists, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, then you know what to do.